Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, future energies for you in love and the person that you might be dealing with. What are the energies between you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirit Angels guides. What guidance, what messages do you have? For Aquarius spirit, what do they need to know regarding love? What does Aquarius need to know, spirit, regarding love? Okay. Past energy. Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy there, present energy, the seven of pentacles, and then the future energy, the two of pentacles. I don't know what's going on with air signs, <laughs> but I feel I've used three different tarot decks, one for Gemini, one for Libra, and now one for you, Aquarius. And it's always, like, it's not always, but for this set of readings, it's a very similar energy. Okay, let's look at your energy over here. Eight of cups with the death card, Scorpio energy. So there's definitely endings, departures that you're thinking about here, Aquarius. And then on your person's side, we have the high priestess and the five of swords. So I feel when I see these two cards together that this person is holding something back. They haven't been honest about something or upfront about something, or they're keeping something to themselves. We'll see why in a second. Okay, so your reading will be a little bit different just from what I see here so far. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. What? Someone's definitely hiding something. They're hiding something. Hmm. Okay, so um, forget what I just said about your readings being similar. <laughs> um, I feel like it was similar up, up there, but now that I'm looking at the overall energy and these energies down here, it's very different, Aquarius. So let's get some more energies out here. What else do we have to know spirit, about the energies surrounding Aquarius in love? What do we need to know for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Taking action, movement, action, courage, time to make a move, sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality, fantasy, dreams, imagination. Aquarius, so far, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. What I see here is that someone might have told you that they're doing something, taking some sort of action, but maybe they haven't told you the whole truth about that. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, I have paralyzing fear. Fear is holding you back. I feel like someone might not have the courage to make this happen. Whatever this is with this taking action, we'll see. Can we get some clarity, please? Now, the lovers is in the past, recent past energy. So I feel like there's already a connection that might exist here between you and another person. Maybe this was someone that you thought you were going to be with or you see a future with. Your other half, someone that you connected with on a deep level here with the lovers. But with the Seven of Pentacles in the present energy, there's like doubts over the future, doubts about the results of this connection or where this connection might be headed in the future. And in the near future, I have the Two of Pentacles. So this is someone weighing their options, trying to decide. So let's find out what the Seven of Swords is first. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Page of Pentacles, okay? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Move this down. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Cups, okay, so I, again, the page of pentacles for me as a reader sometimes can be like a promise that someone makes an offer that someone makes with the potential for more 
but the five of cups is here i feel like someone is making this offer so that they you may be out of guilt or so that they don't lose something can i get one more please for the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here okay, i got two yeah nine of swords so someone's fearful yeah the ten of wands fearful and i feel like i don't know i think whatever this is with the seven of swords which we're gonna hopefully find out more the more we clarify here it's almost like someone might have felt pressured or might have felt like they had to make this promise or offer to you um or they had to say something maybe there was an ultimatum or something like that and I feel like this page of pentacles is almost like I'm, I'm willing to give you at least this much. Please, you know, work with me because I feel like this is someone who I think they're worried. I think this is someone that's worried, stressed out, burdened. And so they they're kind of like whipping this out, this page of pentacles so that they can. It's almost like putting a bandaid on a on a gunshot wound, that kind of energy. And then the Knight of Pentacles. So they might have said, it's a page of Pentacles for now, but eventually it'll be a bigger offer. Let's see what the heck is going on here. Let's look at the lovers. Move these down. Why is the lovers here? Spirit, why is the lovers here for Aquarius? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Some of you might have been in a long-term commitment or marriage with this individual tell me more about the lovers or maybe this is what you saw as the potential here yeah four of wands stable home domestic bliss happy marriage okay i got way more than i wanted ace of cups oh yeah temperance sagittarius energy and the hermit virgo energy i think what happened is that you were um committed to this person or really saw potential with this person and you just thought to yourself okay we'll just work on this it'll slowly come together but over time I feel like either one person retreated or withdrew or the other person was kind of wondering okay so is this gonna happen or not because things are taking a little bit too much time here we have Taurus energy Sagittarius energy there It's almost like, okay, so this connection is great. I see a future here. I see us working together. What's the holdup or what's the issue? Why can't, it's almost like your connection is not progressing fast enough for you or it's not headed in the direction that you thought it would be headed in based on what you saw in the beginning. Tell me about the seven, okay. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I think a lot of you, this was the person that you thought was going to be your forever person or someone you could rely on depend on why is the seven of pentacles here maybe someone just asked you to be patient over and over wait you know wait a little bit longer wait for this wait for that tell me about the seven of pentacles five of wands yeah maybe there were some drama conflict multiple people involved arguments Maybe you weren't able to work certain things out. Maybe your intuition told you that something was up with the high priestess. Maybe you discovered that this person held back a few things. It could have been white lies or bigger things. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Yeah, four of pentacles. Someone was holding back here and there's a seven of swords at the bottom of the deck again. I feel like that's what made you question the future of this connection. Maybe you discovered something. Maybe you had arguments because you found certain things out, Aquarius. Maybe your intuition just told you something was up. Why is the two of pentacles here? What's this? Three of swords. Okay. Seven of swords again. Yeah. I think for some of you, maybe you were blindsided by this person. Maybe this person hurt you uh, through their behavior, through the words they said but during these arguments. Maybe things were said that you can't really just take back. 
I think also some of you might have been really hurt by what happened, but maybe you were so invested emotionally that it wasn't so easy for you to make decisions about this. Strength, Leo energy, three of pentacles, and then the ten of pentacles. Well, when I see the three of swords and the three of pentacles together, I can't help but think of a third person, especially with the five of wands there. I really hope this person didn't lie to you about another individual, but I, I sense that that could have been a possibility. Let me know in the comments if that's what happened, but I feel like whatever's going on here, some of you are debating whether you could even work on this or not. It's like, I just don't know if I want to put in more time into this. Yeah, three of wands. Maybe some of you are hesitating to really pull the trigger here because on your side is the eight of cups and the death card. Of course, you can flip these energies if it resonates more. But, you know, for the sake of this reading, this is your energy here for me, Aquarius, on the left. Eight of Cups and the Death card. So you're thinking about a departure. You're thinking about an ending. You're thinking about walking away. Let's get some Romance Angels here. Let me get some more insight into this connection between Aquarius and this other person. What do we need to know, Spirit? What guidance? What energies do you have? Okay. These two kind of like... I'm going to take those. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. What's at the bottom of the deck? Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, something is up here, um, Aquarius. I feel like this person lost your trust. I don't know if they had excuses for you. I don't know if they thought, um, uh, I'll tell Aquarius this, this will be my explanation. I don't know if they had someone else, some other responsibility that they didn't tell you about. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of red flags here that are coming up. Like they're coming to the surface here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and Death. And it could very well be that this person, you know, you had a fight and you were like, I'm done. <laughs> and this happened recently. And um, this person's like, no, 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 come back or we could, we could work this out, you know. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and Death. Why is the Eight of Cups here with Death? Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Leaper, Gemini. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and Death. Two of Swords, okay, Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you are extremely like guarded. You don't want this person to mess with you anymore. You don't want to be hurt anymore by anybody. You have a tough exterior right now. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and Death. I am also getting that you just don't want to you just don't want to hear it like you're not interested in talking things out and hearing anything else um i think you're focused on yourself right now yeah the six of wands and the magician you're focused on your own success on where you could be successful um i also get the sense that a lot of you are kind of um satisfied in a way i feel like some of you your intuition your intellect led you to find this out and you're just you feel vindicated almost like i knew it i knew it my suspicions were correct <laughs> i should have listened to the red flags earlier but now that i recognize them i have to be honest with myself about what's going on that's what i see here and it's like and now you're thinking about what else you can have because the eight of cups it's about leaving the past behind and then you're on a journey a quest to find this nine of cups so maybe you're just looking ahead at the future what you could have in the future tell me about the high priestess and the five of swords the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius okay Two of Cups, the Fool, 
and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to work things out. They want to start over here with the Fool and the Two of Cups. They want to turn things around this person, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. I think this person, it, you know, they just don't want things to end the way that they, like they don't want to leave things as they are. I feel like this Queen of Wands is like someone that's very motivated, attracted to you still, wanting you still, desiring you. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Aquarius. Tell me about their energies towards Aquarius, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I regret what happened. Yeah. And I really screwed up. Yeah, this person knows. They had a, a part to play here. They have regrets. They, they feel like they really screwed up. And I think they, they don't want to leave things there, you know? They want to be able to like fix things with you. But the issue here is that you don't want to hear it. I think you don't trust this person anymore. Um, and they can sense that things are different with you. Um, maybe they can just sense that you're not taking, you know, first of all, some of you cut this off, this person off, like, um, in terms of like communication, like you're not talking to them, period. And that is not a position this person thought they would be in. Let me get a hidden truth oracle. I think this person wasn't honest with you about something and it kind of blew up in their face. And now they have like no leverage, <laughs> especially when they can't talk to you. It's really hard to convince others or talk to others, let them see your side if they don't talk to you at all. Can I get some more energies for this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with? I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, I think some of you just walked away. And bottom of the deck, I want you. Yeah, I think some of you just walked away. This wasn't, this wasn't what you were looking for. This wasn't what you wanted. And I think in the future, maybe this person will find some sort of way to talk to you with this Two of Pentacles here. But you're thinking about the pain. Um, it's not. It's no longer enough for you to think about the potential with this person. And it's a shame because it started off so great. But I feel like you, you just, you're wondering if you could even have a future with this person anymore. And that's really the sticking point here. I feel like some of you, now that you found out these red flags or whatever you found out, um, your suspicions being confirmed, I feel like you can't lie to yourself, Aquarius, right? It is what it is. So you just, you're ready to just move on. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated for you, if you enjoyed how I read, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Um, leave me a comment down below if this resonated and you feel comfortable sharing. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.